Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one is part 3 guys on the EVA 8 shotgun. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this gameplay now and basically we're going to talk you through it as well. As you can see my burn cards are not really to my benefit or anything like that. I'm playing attrition at the moment. So yeah, um, <clears throat> we're going to show you exactly how we end up racking up kills and how I play this game. So as you can see the class that I'm going to use is the EVA 8. I know I just mentioned that, but yeah, you know, it's been a long day. <laughs> I don't know how these guys have green arrows, it's doing me head in. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, and then I just realise it must be the ones that are in my party. And that's why they have green arrows now. Um, obviously somebody didn't look at the uh, update notes. Oops. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. There you go. Right, so anyway, we take out that drone. There's a human right behind. We end up taking him out straight away. We can see two humans hanging about in this building. So we're going to go straight up these stairs. Unfortunately, we give ourselves away there. And they've already been taken out by somebody else. We're going to cut across here. Oh, there's two people there. And we take out one. And we get sprayed by another. Okay. Right, so don't worry guys, it does get better and stuff like that. Obviously the game players, I'm also going to show you different sort of things that you're going to use. So I'm also going to show you the bad moments of the games. I'm not just going to show you, oh yeah, only shotgun game, I don't die. I'm not going to show you a flawless gameplay guys, because you won't get a realistic view of how to play with the shotgun, how to rack up those kills realistically. So you might not be the best player in the world, but that doesn't mean you can't rack up kills just like I'm doing right here. It's fairly simple what I'm doing. I'm using the same movements, just using a nice little figure, going around in a square. Um, you do want to know where they're spawning. As you can see where all those grunts are, that's where all the humans are going to be spawning. You saw me a second ago see that guy into cloak mode, which allowed me to pick up this kill by following him. We're actually going to end up jumping up here. And as we jump up, one, two, three grunts, and none of them was a human, so unfortunately we don't pick up a kill there. Somebody shoot him, mate, there you go, 360 if that happens, but you want to make it as difficult for them to kill you as possible. Jump up, 360, you've got a shotgun in your hand, chances are you're going to take them out, as long as uh, they've not got the best aim in the world. Yeah, that might be a factor in the matter. So anyway, you see me level up there, and I actually get taken out in my backside there. Vice Admiral, I'm detecting increased heat signatures in the Odyssey Central Core. There you go, human over there, we're actually using the art grenades there, that's going to pick up the kill there, I know that's not a shotgun kill, I'm sorry guys, I had to kill him with an arc, because he was cloaked, and he was running through the building. He ain't getting away from me, bro. Come on. Right, so yeah, human there, nice easy kill, thanks for the kill bro, there you go, it's all about confined spaces guys, you don't want to just run out where that titan is for example, if that gets eyes on you, you're dead as a pulse, literally, okay, so you can see you've got the smoke over there, but I don't want to stay in view of that titan if that titan's still up, so I'm actually just cutting through here, and there you go, we take out Grum. We're actually going to double up to the other spawn side because you can see just on the minimap a lot of grunts are spawning around here. Well not grunts, spectres, correct me mistaken. As we're taking out the spectres and stuff like that we've just given our position away completely. There you go, we end up with a human player in the mix and we take out yet another kill there. Okay, so yeah I'm racking up my attrition points at the same time so I'm getting my kills while racking up my points so I'm playing the game. but. That doesn't mean I'm not going to get the kills with the shotgun at the same time. The, the one mistake you can really make during doing your challenges and stuff like that is to set it a priority. Yeah, I'm going to use this weapon. Yeah, I'm going to go after every pilot. Pick up some grunts on the way. Some pilots will come to you, they'll look at the minimap, see you shoot, and they'll be around you. So just keep your eyes open, keep your eyes peeled, stay calm, live long, prosper. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Hoorah. There you go. Jump kick, jump kick, jump kick. Because I needed to reload anyway, so screw it. There you go. Auto Titan's actually on guard mode. And that's picking me up a few kills. There you go. 
grunt, 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 and there's a human in the mix. Unfortunately, I couldn't distinguish where the human was in between that pack. I knew there was one there, but chances are he's going to get eyes on me because I'm one person, all his grunts are friendly, so it's easier for him to distinguish who I am. There we go, human gets into his titan, just realises he's in a freaking bubble. Oops. Luckily, he came out of the bubble. We're actually going to re-embark on him, give him something to think about while our Titan's attacking him. And I'm just going to take as much damage as I can get off him. He's not disembarking, so I'm just going to keep continuing, continuing, continuing. Yeah, he's pulled his particle wall up while not realising that I'm still on his back. Come on, dude, don't be dumb. And there you go, so we end up getting the Titan fall for that one, and we're bringing our Titan... See a human player is somewhere up here, so let's see if we can take him out. There he is. Whoa, that was close. Okay, and uh, we end up picking up another kill. Right, so we're actually going to embark. You can see there, 13 for 1 at 99 attrition points at the minute. So you can see basically our scores wrapped up there, guys, as well. It's a nice little hint for you. Don't ignore the grunts, don't ignore the spectres. They all count towards your points, even the titan kills. But Titan kills, just burn him man guys, that's going to take you longer to take him out as well. I'm actually using the smoke on my Titan, now you can use the smoke in three different elements. Element A is you can actually charge up to a Titan, smoke, and if that Titan stays in that, that's going to take recurring damage on it. Um, scenario B, somebody rodeos you, you smoke, duck down, aim to the ground. Okay, so you take out the rodeo unless he jumps off your back. Or scenario C, you can use it as a getaway method. So you can actually use it as cover while you go a completely different direction. And chances are they don't even know what direction you've gone. If they're not paying attention to the minimap, you can get a nice good flank using that as well. So we will give you a bit of a smoke tutorial there because it's very underrated. A lot of people using the Vortex shields, sure it's going to cover damage in that. But... If you can get your titans out nice and fast, why not use the smoke? Simple as that. You're going to do more damage. You can actually use the smoke to your advantage for grunts and spectres as well. You can just plant a smoke down and it'll do recurring damage to them. And we actually come to the end of this gameplay, guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment the videos, guys. Um, all your comments, they are returned. I do reply to any questions that anybody does have, so don't be shy. Let me know, and I guarantee you I will answer you. I'm not like most people. Um, actually, I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, I'm not like some of the big YouTubers who will post their videos, post a little description in the sub box and then basically not reply to anybody that asks them the specific questions. You can understand when they get so many comments but um, even if you just answer the one or two it's just a courtesy of doing it isn't it? So yeah it's just showing that at least you're willing to work for your subscribers like I am. There you go 109 attrition points score 13 for free guys. Peace out Synergy.